Six people are about to take their place on one of these seats. I'm Becky, I'm from Liverpool and I'm an HR business partner. I'm John, I'm from the Lake District and I run a bed and breakfast. I'm Simon, I'm from Surrey and I'm a sales director. I'm Julie, I'm from Hull and I'm a deputy chief executive. I'm Kenny, I'm from Leeds and I'm a contracts manager. I'm Leanne, I'm from London and I'm a training police constable. Each of them will compete for the chance to win £10,000. But who will survive and who will be ejected? <laughs> Fingers on buzzers, everybody. In the classic 1969 film The Italian Job, the crooks escape through the streets of Turin in what make of car? John. A mini. Is the correct answer, John? You're in the game. <laughs> so, three in, three out. Only two more of you can qualify to play today's game. <laughs> well, congratulations, you're all still in the game. All feeling OK? Yeah. yeah. Yep. Good, good. Well, here's how it's going to work this time. Get a question right and you stay where you are. Get a question wrong and you're on the move. Keep getting questions wrong and you'll hit the edge and be ejected. <laughs> Next up, John, welcome to the show. Thank you, Andy. So, John, you're a B&B &B manager. Where's your B&B? &B? It's, uh, it's in the Cotswolds, a small little place called Borton on the Water. Um, lovely little place, very idyllic and pretty. It sounds like a nice relaxing place. Yes, very um, relaxing. Not like what you're going to go through today. No, no, this is, uh, this is definitely a, a step out of my comfort zone, actually. OK, John, if you're ready, yeah. <laughs> here's your question. Regan, Cordelia and Goneril are all the daughters of which Shakespearean king? Hamlet. King Lear. Because you gave me an incorrect answer, you're on the move. Oh. Which long-running animated series is set in the town of Springfield? The Simpsons. Is the correct answer. Well done, John. You can sit tight. We are increasing the speed of the seats, so if you do move backwards, it's going to be that much faster. John? Yep. Here's your question. Paul O'Grady looks after animals at which London shelter in the ITV series For the Love of Dogs? Is it Battersea? That's the correct answer. Battersea Dogs and Cats Home. Well done, John. You can sit tight. <laughs> So, Leanne's left us. Congratulations to the rest of you. How do you think that round went for you? It's, it's, it's funny, cos I knew, I knew it was King Lear, but uh, I think it was the, the fear of being <laughs> pushed back on the seat that uh, threw me on that one. OK. So, but well, I must say congratulations to uh, King Si. Yep, yeah, Simon, you're the man to beat at the moment. Does that make you even more confident? No, no, I just got lucky with the questions, Andy. <laughs> OK, two right answers. John, can you keep this going? Get the hat trick. In the 1930s, Harry Beck designed the iconic map of which transport system? The London Underground. Is the correct answer, John. Which Righteous Brothers song is played during the famous Potter's Wheel scene in the 1990 film Ghost? Um... Oh. No, the correct answer is Unchained Melody. Yeah. OK, so, John, you're on the move. The dance, the Lambada, originated in which South American country? Brazil. Is the correct answer. Yes. Well done, John. <laughs> What's the word for a male goose? Uh, Ganda. Is the correct answer. Well done, John. <laughs> <laughs> are you just doing this to make it more exhilarating for yourself? I'm giving myself an <laughs> adrenaline buzz. Yeah, you really yeah. are. Yeah, I love okay, it. Okay, you're sitting just outside the danger zone. Okay. John is a furthest towards the edge. He's quite close to the danger zone. We're going to increase the speed of the seats to their top speed. Who directed the films Spartacus and 2001, A Space Odyssey? Oh, Stanley Kubrick is the correct answer, John. At top speed in our seats, you're on the move. In 1924, George Gershwin composed a rhapsody in which colour? <laughs> 
John, you've panicked. The correct answer was blue. Did you know it? Yeah, I did, yeah. I'm going to ask you a multiple choice question. Get it right, you stay in the game. We move you out of the danger zone. Get it wrong, John, and you will be ejected. If you strained your carpal ligaments, it may be because you have overused which part of your body? Is it A, your neck, B, your knee, or C, your wrist? I'm going to go for wrist. John, to stay in the game, are you right or are you wrong? John, it's the right answer. You are out of the danger zone and you continue in the game, but now without your saving grace, which is your panic button. Well done. So, Becky, yeah. John, only one of you can go through and continue in today's game. One of you will be ejected. Here's the question to stay in the game. Created by Arthur Conan Doyle, Sherlock Holmes lives at 221B on which London thoroughfare? John. Baker Street. Is the correct answer. John, you're still in the game. Oh, Becky. I know, I just wasn't <laughs> quick enough. I knew it. Sadly, you haven't been able to make it through sudden death. Becky, you have been ejected. <laughs> so, Becky's left the game and four have become three, but someone else is about to be ejected. Will it be John, Simon or Kenny? Simon, you're having a blinder of a game today. Every question I've asked you, you've answered correctly. Yeah. <laughs> but you weren't as quick on the buzzer as Kenny that time to get through to this round. I was a bit worried, Kenny, when we only got the one thumbs up. Exactly. Uh, is that a sign when we really know you're unsure? Well, that's the one thumbs up because that one's like that at the moment. OK, so, uh, fair uh, enough. Okay, uh, All right, Kenny. And as for you, John... Yes. Uh, You've used your panic button. You don't have that available to you. No. So right now, you're in the weakest position. Yeah. The last round was, I mean, pardon the pun, real sort of edge-of-the-seat stuff. And, <laughs> I mean, between myself and Becky, I thought it was me. So that's it's almost spurred me on to uh, defeat the old boys. OK, do it for you and Becky and the people with quiffs. Right, <laughs> so this time, it's getting tougher because you're on the buzzer. The first two of you to buzz in correctly will sit tight. Whoever's left will be on the move. One more of you is about to be ejected. Gents, fingers on buzzers. Here's the question. In which track and field event did Fatima Whitbread represent <coughs> Kenny? Javelin. Great Britain at the Olympic Games. Javelin's the right answer. You're safe. So, John, you're in trouble here. You will ask the buzz in with the correct answer, so that means you're on the move. Russell Crowe won the Oscar for Best Actor for his performance in which film? Gladiator. Is the correct answer. All three of you are back in. Fingers on buzzers. In the UK, what number is dialed from a BT landline to try and retrieve the identity of the last <coughs> caller? John. 1471. Is the correct answer. Well done, John. <laughs> Chancellor George Osborne announced in 2013 that after 93 years, which circular label for cars was being replaced with an electronic system? <coughs> Kenny. Tax disc. Is the correct answer. Well done, Kenny. John, you're on the move. Formerly a member of Oasis, who is now the lead singer of The High Flying Birds? Noel Gallagher. Is the correct answer. <laughs> <laughs> you just want it to be like a roller coaster. I absolutely love this question. <laughs> John, Simon. The song No One Is Innocent was a UK top ten single for the Sex Pistols with guest vocals by which great train robber? <laughs> Simon. Ronnie Beggs. Is the correct answer. <laughs> You've got no panic button. If you hit the edge, you'll be ejected. As John, you're on the move. Which black swan actress voices the character Meg in the cartoon series Family Guy? The correct answer was Mila Kunis, 
So John has been ejected. Congratulations, the two of you are sitting pretty. One of you will be in with a chance of winning today's £10,000 jackpot. Who will it be? We'll find out after the break. <laughs>